The fateful interview brings members of the royal family to a standstill. Hello friends, welcome to the latest updates from the former royal couple Harry and Meghan. As you know, since the announcement of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's resignation as royals, Harry and Meghan have become estranged from members of the royal family. In particular, they have repeatedly attacked members of the royal family in the media, and most recently interviewed media mogul Oprah Winfrey. This is considered a fateful interview that breaks the relationship between Harry and Meghan with members of the royal family. Did I mention the downsides of this interview? It is the main cause of anger and anxiety among members of the royal family about Harry and Meghan's next statements. I'll show you how serious the problem is here. In an interview with Oprah, Harry's wife criticized the Duchess of Cambridge for jostling Harry and Meghan's wedding and making Meghan cry. Oh, what is she implying? You know, they're a family, but the way Meghan retaliated against Kate was disgraceful. As for William, he is always protective of his wife and assumes that Kate only wants to help Meghan as a member of the family. Many sources said that Meghan also received apology letters and flowers from Kate, but she brought this story to shame in the media. Of course, this made Prince William extremely angry. Not stopping there, Meghan and Harry hinted at a royal who expressed concern about Archie's skin color. They concluded that the person had racist attitudes. You know, this has serious effects on the British monarchy. Shortly after the video of the interview was posted, Prince William expressed his anger at his younger brother Harry. He has stood up to deny what Harry and Meghan have fabricated. He emphasized we're very much not a racist family. You know, stabbing someone in the back is unacceptable, let alone Harry and Meghan betraying Harry's own family. That interview took place in March last year. A few months later, the royal family had a ceremony to unveil the statue of Princess Diana, where William and Harry met. You can watch the scene of William and Harry during the event, where they struggled to smile in public. A close friend of William revealed William is still furious. He had taken the view that he'd only given so much. He just didn't want to go there with Harry. You see, after what Harry and Meghan did to the royal family, it's impossible to meet and chat in a fun way. You know, in order to keep the peace between these two princely brothers, Princess Catherine had to very skillfully arrange everything so that there was no conflict between the brothers. In addition, during that interview, Harry and Meghan revealed that a book of Harry's memoirs will be released in 2022. Although the release date of the book has not been announced yet, Many people predict that it will be released at the time of the Queen's Platinum Ceremony. You know, for the royal family, Harry and Meghan are like a ticking time bomb. They will definitely have to prepare a strong spirit to receive this bomb in 2022. Many experts say Harry would not have received millions of pounds in the contents of the book had not been as shocking as he'd claimed. Oh, this really makes a lot of people curious. The royal family is expressing concern about Harry's selfish and thoughtless actions. And certainly, as I predict, Prince William and Prince Charles will be the names mentioned in the book. You know, not only William, but Prince Charles is also in a strained relationship with Harry, especially after Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah. Royal insiders have revealed that Harry and Prince Charles have not spoken to each other for a long time, and they predict this will hardly be the end. Harry has expressed anger and dissatisfaction about the royal upbringing, specifically that of Prince Charles and the Queen. This makes the royal family change the way they look at Harry and Meghan. They think Harry and Meghan are a royal concern, and it's hard to accept their reappearance in 2022. You know, just recently, the Queen's Palace announced the plan for the Grand Platinum Ceremony, but no mention of Harry and Meghan. This further proves that the royal family doesn't want anything to do with them anymore. Do you agree with me? Let me know your thoughts on this matter. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.